Hello and welcome everyone. It's time for another Corona tutorial and this one will be all about a very particular toggle that you may find under the Edit Preferences menu. And then under the Corona submenu here, it is the Use Cinema 4D Color Space toggle. Now, before we go any further, let's just take a second to point out that this functionality is probably only important for you folks that want to use a newer Corona version that has this toggle to render out older legacy scenes that didn't feature this functionality. For the rest of you, this tutorial is of course recommended, but it shouldn't impact your workflow at all. Right, so let's take a look at what this toggle does here. If you pay attention to the image in the VFB, perhaps even focus on this particular area here, you'll be able to observe that when I untoggle our buddy here, that the image ever so slightly changes. It's almost like a tiny gamma change Nothing drastic for sure, but definitely different than before. So you see, this is what this toggle does. It essentially tells the Corona VFB to use Cinema 4D's color space instead of its own. Now do note how we didn't have to re-render the image or even have the renderer be running because the toggle has immediate effect. All right, now why is that even important, right? I'm pretty sure that's the big question mark right now. Well, the thing is that unless you're specifically using the Corona VFB to save out your images, everything that gets saved out of Cinema 4D gets processed by the picture viewer. So your automatic saves from the render settings menu here. So these guys, basically. And, and then your render queues and even your team rendering. Every time you save out your files through any of these means, everything goes through the picture viewer right before it gets saved out. Now sure, the image first gets the treatment from the Corona VFB with all the tone mapping, LUTs, bloom and glare and all that jazz, but ultimately it will be passed on to the picture viewer if you're using the before mentioned saving methods. Now why is that a problem? Well, check this out. If I bring back my preferences menu, if I arrange these windows just a little bit uh, better so we can see things a little bit more uh, clearly. Right, and if I now untoggle the toggle here, which basically reverts Corona's behavior to how it used to be like in the legacy versions before this toggle was introduced, well, then the VFB image now looks different than the picture viewer one. Now again, these are minor differences and are pretty hard to spot side by side like this, but if we put these two images on top of each other and then switch between them, well, then the difference becomes more apparent. It's not huge, but it definitely means you are not getting a one-to-one -one matching image, which as you can imagine, can be a bit suboptimal in certain scenarios because the image you are working on in the Corona VFB will not completely match the image that you'll save out via the picture viewer. So why is that? Well, the picture viewer has its own way of interpreting the full dynamic range image into the limited color space that needs to be used so that you can see the image in a pleasing way on your monitor. And the way it interprets that data is slightly different than the way Corona does that same process when it displays the image in the VFB. So to solve that, this toggle, if turned on, which is its default state, well, this toggle makes the Corona VFB match its color space to the picture viewer one. Because if you'll remember, all of the images that weren't saved directly from the Corona VFB, so by using this button here, all of those images will always go through the picture viewer before being saved. And once they get processed by the picture viewer, the picture viewer will then convert them into its own color space, which causes the images to be different than the ones you see in the VFB. Now, without the toggle, there was only one way to have the picture viewer and the Corona VFB images to match. And that was achievable by saving your files out using the open EXR file format. Now, the science here is complex, but the bottom line is that the open EXR basically makes the picture viewer not bake its own color space on top of your Corona VFB image. So this solution, if you think about it, is different than the toggle here, as it affects the picture viewer's output, while the toggle itself makes the Corona VFB match the picture viewer. 
And this information is important because if you have an identical scene coming out of 3ds Max, which doesn't have Cinema 4D's picture viewer, obviously, well then by having the toggle be off and saving the image in the OpenEXR format, well, that will result in both software outputting the exact same image. Right, so now comes a very important disclaimer, short but sassy. The use Cinema 4D color space toggle does not affect the rendering process in any way. You will not affect the rendering process by toggling this toggle. It is merely a cosmetic change, if you will, that comes on top of the image that gets outputted for you to see here. Right, so now why is all this important to you if you are working with your older legacy scenes? Well, if in the past, before the use Cinema 4D color space toggle was introduced, if in the past you've saved your images directly from the Corona VFB and with a non-OpenEXR file format, well, those images will look a tiny bit different when saved with a newer Corona version that has this toggle set to on. So now, to match the legacy behavior with the new Corona versions that have this toggle, you now have to disable it if you want the images to match, as otherwise the toggle is on by default, and if you save it like this now, it won't quite match the behavior that was present in the older Corona versions where there was no toggle. You need to turn the toggle off and then save your images in order for them to look like they did before with the legacy Corona versions. And if you've saved your images via the picture viewer, so if you've saved them any other way than directly from the Corona VFB here, and if you've saved your images without the OpenEXR file format, well, no worries at all then, because with or without the toggle, you'll end up getting the same result as you did before with the previous Corona versions. Although in that case, the Corona VFB will look a bit different than the picture viewer output, but that will be exactly how it behaved before the toggle graced the land. Alrighty, so that pretty much concludes this tutorial right here. It is a quick one, but just to recap, if you are opening up older scenes, pay attention to the toggle if you want your images to match one-to-one -to, -one to the ones you rendered with the previous Corona versions that didn't feature the toggle. If you are working on new scenes created with the more current Corona versions, well then, don't worry about anything. Thank you for tuning in, and take care.